together. We're going to consult. We're going to come up with the best candidates to complete the extraordinary team of women and men that already comprises our caucus in Ottawa. We will do that across the country. We will run a candidate in all 338 ridings. No question for us. That, of course, is Tom Mulcair, definitely in the spotlight this weekend, Canada's opposition leader, facing a confidence vote today from his own party. The NDP is gathered in Montreal. We should have the results of that scheduled confidence vote within a couple of hours. The CBC's Amanda Pfeffer reports from the convention floor. You talk about uh, Tom Mulcair trying to establish him, himself as the leader of the party. The confidence vote just went by about 20 minutes ago. Let me tell you what the question was, is do you want a, a leadership vote? And so depending on high, how high the level is of the answer, no. It's considered a confidence vote on Tom Mulcair. And a lot is made about Tom Mulcair being uh, 17 years older than his new current arrival, with Justin Trudeau expected to be named the leader tomorrow of the Liberal Party. Party, but standing right beside me is Matthew Dubé. Uh, I, uh, Matthew Dubé, uh, you're the MP for oh, MP. You're one of the M young MPs uh, voted here in Quebec. And um, how many years younger are you than Justin Trudeau? Well, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, 16 years. 16 years, okay. And you've been in the House actively. On, uh, you're also a sports critic, and I understand that so is Justin Trudeau. Yeah, absolutely, but uh, I've been enjoying that role, and we've been working on a lot of important issues on, on our side of the House. Now, one of the issues that's come up, of course, is, is uh, a fear that uh, for NDP uh, co uh, members is that uh, Trudeau is, is, has been very effective at attracting youth vote, um, and yet you have a very young co is here with the NDP. Tell me about uh, why uh, young people should be interested in this party with Justin Trudeau being hailed as the second coming tomorrow. Well, I think for us what's really important is to get, uh, to get youth involved in the debate. It's not necessarily talk to them, but talk with them. I think that's the key. You look at issues like pensions, for example. Those are young youth issues as well, because one day we'll have to retire as well. So to get folks connected with those issues, that's why we've been doing our university campus tour, for example, to talk with them, to see where they stand on these issues and get them involved and actively thinking about these issues. After all, like I said, it's the same issues. It's just a matter of uh, having that respect, mutual respect there between young and old and have them involved in the debate. What do you think the impact of having such a young caucus has been on the party, on conventions, but on the party itself? I think it's been really positive. That's something Jack Layton believed in uh, very much. I remember how much time he used to give me to talk about issues when I was president of the Quebec Youth Wing. Uh, and then we're just continuing in that, in that vision. I think that, you know, society, our community, there's there's people young and people that are less young and I think that to have a caucus that's at that has that image that reflection where we're not just young people but we've got young people I think that's fantastic and it allows us to be very representative of the population I think one of the big challenges of course will be trying to uh, get that message to voters as the media seems to be eclipsed uh, this week anyway on Justin Trudeau thank you very much for joining us thanks very much my pleasure uh, again Matthew Dubé one of the uh, youngest MPs ever elected I think to the House of Commons and uh, and that's where we're at in the uh, at the convention here in Montreal. That's the CBC's Amanda Pfeffer covering the NDP convention in Montreal for us. And one of the big debates this weekend is over the entire direction of the NDP. Some strategists want the party to move to the center, and others say it's better to stay true to the party's left-wing roots. Just moments ago, one of the Idle No More leaders spoke on the convention floor. He urged the party to stop trying to win favor a big business. Don't let the money rule you. Save your wives, your husbands, your children, your grandchildren. They need land, they need water, they need resources. Join with me. Join with the grassroots people. Join with Adam Lord Moomer. And let's fight the government to get our land, our water, and our resources back. Join us. United, we will stand. Divided, we will fall. Fall, brothers and sisters, because you guys, you guys are all my brothers and sisters. No matter what color you come from, who, who you are, where you've been, where you're going, you are my brother and a sister. And I always look at you that way. And I hope you guys can look at me that way too. Thank you. And that's Grand Elder Raymond Robinson of Cross Lake, Manitoba. He spoke on the floor of the NDP Policy Convention in Montreal.